Good night everyone, this is Bori. I just want to come and share some projects that I am working on. Um, we had some issue at the court where I work and I had the day off and I am the happiest woman because I spent the whole day crafting. Did some odds and ends but mostly I spent it in my craft room creating. So I just wanted to show you and I had posted on my Facebook that I am addicted and that I plan to collect all of the Brenda Walton dies because I love them. So this is the latest one that I got. It's called the Brenda Walton um, for Sizzix and it's the miniature, the mini cupcake stand. So this is the one that I got. I bought it off eBay. So I was playing with that and... Um, see how it would work out I wasn't in the mood to make cupcakes so I decided to use the stand for something else and let me show you what I did okay and for this project I use the um this is a trashy collection from DCWV and instead of um let me tell you it takes a little practice to get you know the stand and to get everything done properly but once you get it it's like addictive it looks so beautiful so I mean I still have more to do I still have to practice a little bit more and play with it but I love how this looks and this is for my craft room so I made the cupcake stand and then I embellished the top of it I mean crazy I just went crazy with it this is a miniature we call it swan that I got from a local craft store these are some ribbon roses some I am roses cherry blossoms I am roses two-tone flowers more ribbon roses this is a prima flower and I just put a do that in the center this is one of the Michaels um, tiles word tiles and then I have some little um, crystals around the base and my favorite sequence I put some scattered some sequins at the bottom and then I use as a base one of those rosettes from Lavish Laces. I, it's pink one and then I put the swan in the middle like he is resting in the middle of the flower. And I thought it was a beautiful embellishment. So that is the first thing that I made. I love how it looks and it just it's cute. So let me put this to the side. And then I went crazy. I made some... Um, milk cartons for a swab that I'm in and I'm going to show you I made three of them and then I created a holder from scratch I just started playing with paper and I created a holder for them and this is going to be filled with embellishments so this is the first one and I used Martha Stewart paper some seam binding some lavish laces rosettes I've been hoarding them because the store is not open anymore but I started I need to use up my stuff and then I used some hand dyed seam binding from Candace Scarborough she does a beautiful job and I love how her um how her seam binding is colored. I love it. So this is the first one and it's gonna be filled with goodies. This is the second one, the same Martha Stewart paper, lavish laces, a little pearl in the center from my stash. And then I use seam binding on this one, and then I use a piece of lace on this one that I had in my stash. I tried to keep them all similar, but at the same time, each one of them unique. So instead of when, when the person wants to get what's inside, all they have to do is loosen the the bow and then they can get to the stuff inside. Then there's a pink rosette, pearl in the center, and then because the other paper has some yellow in it, I decided to use some vintage yellow lace around the, um, around the base and the rosette in the center. So that is my second one. And then this one is the same paper as the first one. And then, because this paper has yellows and greens and pinks, so that's the colors I played with. So I have a green rosette, pink um, pearl from my stash in the middle. And this beautiful crochet lace is from my paper passion on Zibit from Natalia's store. And then I use the same um, yellow vintage lace from my stash to tie the top. So these are the three little embellishment milk cartons that I created. And then I just got some paper and I started cutting and measuring and I came up with this little holder for them I mean it's not perfect and I mean I'm sure there are better ways to do it but this is the way that I I 
did it and I wanted to make something for myself and these go these fit perfectly in here so I have the two that are printed cardstock in the ends and then the solid cardstock in the middle and they fit perfectly in there and here is the holder so she can just you know put them here and once there's more of that same crochet lace from my paper passion this is my little itty bitty um, flower punch that I love and then I put some little sequins in the center and I'm deciding whether or not I want to add some legs but I love how this looks I think it's I just think it's really cute so this is the second project that I worked on today a milk carton and a holder and then finally I made two mason jar tags for some embellishments for my swap and this is one of those um, bottle caps the giant ones that Tracy has in Chai Town Tracy has in Art Attack online and I love it and I had gotten this piece of um, doily from Tutu Amy hi Amy she I ordered something from her store and she had sent me this um, this beautiful doily and I put it in the back and then I just put a bunch of little doodads and pretty little things inside there's a little heart this is one of my first um, and it still needs to dry a little bit this is one of my little resin owls that I made some sequins some pearls and the paper that I used was from the botanical botanical garden or botanical tea I know it's a, it's a graphic 45 paper so and it's covered on both sides and once again the person who gets this can easily remove this because it just has a little glue dot there I also have some bobbles in there it's just and I think when it dries more it's gonna look even better and then I just embellished the top here so this is one I'm gonna make a couple more but these are the ones that I have ready now and then finally I made the, this little embellishment tag and once again I used the mason jar die this is from Sizzix mason jar and um, I just have this are some more of the resin pieces that I made and for this one I use a piece of the Martha Stewart paper I love the flower and it fit perfectly inside this frame and then I use my Martha Stewart butterfly punch and the little mini itty bitty mini flower um, butterflies that punch out I just put one in the middle here and then I put a couple of them on this resin piece that I um, that I that I made and then here's another flower from the same Martha Stewart collection I got this pearl trim from Artie's store and then this is a prima butterfly and one does one of the wood butterflies and it had a piece of pink ribbon that was left and I made a little bow and put a little pearl in the center so once again the person who gets this can remove these because they're just attached with a just tiny little glue dot and they can use it and then just to decorate the mason jar a little bit more I got this applique from Alicia's Glitz and more um, some winnings that I got and I just put it there to make it look pretty so once again these are the two tags that I made today and these are going for swap I want to keep them but it, they're for swap and then here's my little um, holder and I know you can barely see it but this is the Martha Stewart butterfly punch and this is where I got the tiny little butterflies from and then the three little milk carton containers with the flowers that are decorated and my cupcake stand and I'm gonna practice more because I think it would look better with brighter colored paper but I like that trash chic paper trash chic and I, I need to use up my stuff so I thought this looked good and this trim that I put around here it comes with a trim but I don't really care much for it but this is from also from my paper passion and zip it so those are the projects I'm gonna lift my phone just so you can see it a little bit better so they are the milk cartons here is the cupcake stand I love how that cupcake stand turned out and there's a little swan and the flowers and here are the two mason jar tags that I made so I just wanted to come on and share I hope you like it please leave a comment if you wish you all have a good night bye